Good morning, Biscuits. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Rose Kelly. I love to post homemaking, cleaning videos, all sorts of fun self-care topics on here. If you'd love to see even more full primal self-care videos where we are unwrapping the key to our happiness, you can check out my Patreon page at Rose Kelly. So today I am actually cleaning up my photo studio. For so those of you that don't follow me on Patreon and don't know, I do a bunch of primal burlesque styled self-care photo shoots, quiz nights, and long format and short format videos and I film a bunch of them in my photo studio. So I had a bunch of photo shoots going on. I actually am all tidying up both from Patreon photo shoots and then I had as well a um, photo shoot or a filming day for one of my romance novels that I write. You can check out my novels under RM Kelly. They're all over Barnes Noble and Amazon. You can download them for your Kindle right now. They're very steamy erotic romance novels that I write. Um, and I also film little short films based on my romance novels that I put on my OnlyFans page. And I'm tidying up from that switching over the look and vibe of the room for a different photo shoot that's coming up. So it's always a busy space getting uh, a photo studio ready. It's been a real delight. I haven't always had a large uh, format photo studio, so it's a delight for me to get to really just kind of spread out and play with what aesthetics and styles I'm going to be doing. But it does mean that I can have really hectic days in the photo studio where things just literally get piled in a corner, sat on a chair, costume changes. I have actresses come in and work with me and it just can be really messy by the end of a day or two of filming. And so I like to go through and really tidy it on up. So even if you are not tidying your photo studio, which I realize is very niche and I debated even sharing tidying my photo studio, generally I do more homemaker things. But I wanted to share it because that's such a big part of my creative and lovely artistic life. Um, you can also apply this to cleaning your bedroom, cleaning your home office, cleaning your living room. These are all just sort of little tips and tricks. You know, one of the first things I go through, as you can see, is picking up clothes. So for me, it's a bunch of costumes and also just loungewear that I might wear around while I'm filming other actors or while I'm getting scenes set up. Um, so I go through that and I kind of figure out, you know what needs to get folded up, what has come right out of my wash hamper and is actually clean and I brought up and never ended up wearing for a costume, um, different seasonal styles and everything. So I like to put on some music. I love pop music. If you are new here, you're going to know that I like to dance around while I'm cleaning because it makes cleaning so happy. I love making the mundane magical and that's such a big part of what my Patreon page is about and all my pages here on YouTube. You can also check out my main channel, which is the Wholesome Feed is I just like having fun with our day-to-day -day life. Why not make it magical? Why not romanticize our lives so that we're actually living in the fabulous romance novel we wish we were? And for me, part of that is when I clean, putting on music, putting on a great thing to dance to, and just not being afraid to be goofy and being silly. You will find, if you are new here on the channel, that I'm not afraid of being goofy. That's just my innate being. What can I do? I gotta be me. So I'm gonna put on some music for you, Biscuits. Let's watch this together. You clean your room, I'm gonna get my photo studio done, and then I'll pop back in to say hi at the end.
Okay, I popped back down a little early because I just thought it was fun to do. So you can see that I had a bunch of costumes put away because I've been filming so much new, amazing content. I love getting to be creative. Um, for me, you know, and I think this is true for anybody that makes creative fields their, their work, is sometimes I feel more inspired and sometimes I am more in like a editing cave, um, admin kind of vibe. So <laughs> I, I love trying out the costumes. Like, again, don't be afraid to make life goofy and beautiful and romantic in whatever way you define that. I love, I love getting to do that. Oh, this blanket is so cozy. Biscuits, keep an eye out for it. And a upcoming video. It is one of my favorite little cozy knit um, blankets. I just, I love texture. That's something that I love to play with and goof around with because texture for me in a home, in an office setting, in a photo studio, texture is so important to me. I love soft textures. I love big weaves. I love all sorts of patterns that are just making a space more unique and fun. And I gotta say also something, this has nothing to do with cleaning, but just as a home vibe, I love playing with lighting. So this is something I've really gotten into is, especially in my photo studio, but this is true across my house at home, is how can I make lighting more romantic, more beautiful, more playful? So these in here are little crystal lamps. They are nothing expensive. I think I bought them off of Amazon years ago for my previous filming space. And they just cast beautiful light. And you know, for me in a living room, I love soft light. I'm actually lamp hunting. So let me know. Will you tell me in the comments, Biscuits, is there a online store or a Western Washington store you would recommend to go buy floor lamps out and table lamps? I'm in need of a couple. I don't want to spend mega bucks. I just want something that's nice and aesthetic and beautiful, kind of French or English countryside, kind of natural woods, soft linens, that, that kind of material. Um, my sp photo studio is definitely a little more glam and more burlesque because that's just what I love to create with that. But for home, I'm looking for lamps. And that's such a wonderful way to make your home look more organized and clean than it is because I love little hacks and tricks to make your home look more clean and organized is play with the lighting in your space because that's going to really affect how big the space feels, how clean it does, how organized it is. You know, you can have the cleanest room in the world and if it has really bad lighting, it's going to feel dark and funky. And I know that, like I've lived in places that just got no natural light and I really had to play more with light. Ooh, haha, remaking the bed for another photo shoot. <laughs> Alrighty, Biscuits, I am so happy that you have subscribed, hit the like button, and that you are following along and cleaning with me. It makes me so happy to get to share something that I am passionate about, which is cleaning and organizing and making our homes and photo studios somewhere happy and joyful that we are so delighted to spend time in that the textures and the light and the scent and the whole vibe of our home is somewhere that we can adore. I'm going to see you over in the next video. That's right. Oh, and I'll see you over on Instagram too if you want to come check out some reels.